What's good, everybody? Um, so, obviously, my Knicks lost uh, 111 to 98. Um, uh, I I don't know. I don't have, I don't have the answers. I already don't. Um, this 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 game was doomed from start. Um, we didn't come off the game. We didn't come out as we expected. Um, we just let the Pacers run all over us, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, don't credit or not really credit, but don't necessarily take teams that's below 500 seriously. And that's what we did to the, uh, magic. Okay. That's what we did to the magic. We over under, we, we underestimated them and, you know, they came out second game, you know, cause obviously the first time we beat them, Second time they came out adjusted and, you know, we got punched in the mouth. You know, um, we beat Philly. We beat, you know, the Bulls by one. Um, and, you know, we came out and we lost to the, um, we lost to the Raptors, you know, uh, after beating the Bulls. And then here tonight. We just lay another one. We just lay another L to uh, the piss, uh, the Pacers. Um, but now we have the Bucks coming up. They, we have Milwaukee Bucks coming up. The defending champions coming up. Um, so now, now the, the 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 season is going to get even more difficult because now. Instead of facing teams that's below 500, we're going to be facing teams that's above 500. So we're going to be facing teams like the Milwaukee Bucks, like, um, you know, teams that's teams that have a winning record, you know, teams like the Hornets, you know, um, you know, teams that have winning records. So. The Knicks got to get their stuff together or they could be looking at a ugly, ugly, ugly schedule, you know, or ugly start. Um, you know, I didn't really, I, I, I don't know, man. You no, know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to come on here and expect the Knicks to win every single game. Um... You know, because it's a long season. It really is. You know, that's why I don't have time to just, you know, come on here and, you know. I mean, I watch the games. Don't get me wrong. I do watch the games. I just don't have it in me to just sit here every single day with my hoodie. Well, yeah, my hoodie's being washed. But um, I don't have the energy to come on here every single day just to, say the Knicks are going to do this and do that. And, you know, they just got to play. You know, they just got to play. And, you know, they just got to have to figure it out. The rotation, you know, Kemba's not... I mean, obviously, if you put Kemba with the second unit, I think he'll flourish more. Because if you put him with the first unit, I mean, he just looked lost. You know, he's just, he was just keep getting beat off the dribble and... Like, it, it was just it was just an atrocious night, you know. Um, hopefully we don't have that, but you know, facing the buck, I mean, I said bucks. Facing uh, the Milwaukee Bucks is not going to be easy. Um, obviously, Chris Middleton didn't play in that game that they blew that they uh, not blew out. Excuse me, but they um won um against the Pistons, so. If Chris Middle can't, if if Chris can't go to not, well, well, not tonight, but I think tomorrow or Thursday, um, not, I mean, I mean Friday or Thursday, whenever they play, um, if Chris Middle can't, if Chris Middleton cannot go, um, then maybe we have a shot, you know, because that's gonna put a lot of pressure on Giannis yet again, you know, um, but. You know, if Chris Middleton can't go, then I think we have a shot at beating them. 
Uh, I'm not saying that we can't beat them. Um, because I remember the last time we beat them, we blew them out, you know. Um, but that was like eons ago. So now they're that now that they're defending champions, um, we're probably gonna give them their best shot. And I know they're gonna give us our best shot, you know? So um it's gonna be a great game. It really is. Um but you know, the time and place of, you know, losing is not in our DNA, you know. Uh I know this team can be better. I know this team can get better. Uh, but they're just going to have to turn it around quick. Because these next few games, man, it's not going to look pretty. It's not. You know, we're going to be seeing a lot of L's um, if we don't get our, you know, act together. Um, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I thought we was going to come on here. You know, I thought we was going to come out, punch the Pacers in the face. And just, you know, chalk up another W and get ready for, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks. But now that we have to possibly go on the road to Milwaukee and face them, it's not going to be easy. It really isn't. Um, so, you know, I mean, I mean, freaking the damn Nets won with ease against the Hawks. I thought the Hawks was going to put up a great fight, you know. I mean, they lost. Um, you know, the Bulls, they lost. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's it's been an up and down season for a lot of players. You know, especially with that new rules. And I think that's what, eff- I, I think that's what's affecting them too. I think that's what affect, I think that's what's affecting, I mean, I think that's what is affecting them. Uh, they may, they, they may not show it. But body language wise, you can tell, you know, like, you know, the, like, why is the Celtics struggling, you know? Because usually, you know, when you get these ticky tack fouls, it helps your team even more. But when you don't get it, it frustrates you and it, it, and it builds up and it builds up and it builds up. You know what I'm saying? Some players, they can maneuver it, you know, they can find different ways to, you know, get the ball without being you know, without getting calls, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, again, that's not how you play basketball, you know? You play text buck basketball, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to cry for the refs every 15, 30 touches you get, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, you're just going to have to play through the whistle, I guess, you know? Um Nobody showed up on the Knicks. Nobody did, uh, stat-wise. Um, you know, I mean, stats is not really my cup of tea. Um, but, you know, nobody showed up in the stats. Um, but, you know, give credit to the Pacers, man. They came out, you know, even despite their 2-6 and six record, you know. Uh, they came out and, you know, they punched this in the mouth bad. So, this is... How do we respond? <laughs> Go to Milwaukee and, and, and do the unthinkable. And then everybody's going to be on the Knicks bandwagon again. Or coattail and say, oh, the Knicks are back. Oh, the... No. No. Now, I, like I said, if, they do, if the Knicks do wind up beating the Bucks, I mean, we've seen the Bucks lose to bad teams this year. You know? So, it's not like we can't do it. We have the talent to do it. We just don't have the, the, the. I believe we don't have the rotation right. You know, you know. I don't think Kemba should be starting over Derrick Rose. You know, uh, like like Derrick Rose started all. Derrick Rose started last year at the point guard. You know, for us last year. So now that. He's out of the rotation. Kemba is not Derrick Rose. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe Kemba is his own person. You know? Um, Like, Kemba doesn't see the floor like Derrick Rose sees the floor. And I think that's hurting the guys around him. You know? So, Tibbs got to figure that out. Maybe he may do some adjustments saying, Okay, tonight, Kemba, you be with the second unit. Derek Rose, 
penetrate, you know what I'm saying, this unit and see how he does. If he does well, then we'll probably stick with Derrick Rose moving forward and you could just take the second unit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, quickly could be at the two. You know what I'm saying? So, um, well, other than that, man, I mean, like I said, we're not going to win them all. We're going to have a few bumps in the road. Uh, we won nine games last year. You know, um, so it, 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 it's not going to be pretty. You know, we all, th we, I knew, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit here and speak for all Knicks fans, but I knew coming into the season, it was not going to be easy, you know. Um, and, you know, like I said, we're, we're going to have a lot of tough games, you know. We're going to have a lot of tough games this year. Uh, these few coming, this few, these, these few games coming up, we're, it's gonna, it, it, it's really gonna test our, you know, um, it's really gonna test our, you know, commitment, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we don't face the Nets until November 30th. That's, that, that. That's crazy, you know. And KD better not sit out too, cause I know KD. When KD, every time, every time we always face the Nets, KD always has to sit out and leave James Harden out there to defend for himself. You know what I'm saying? Cause I remember last year we we faced them and then Kyrie and KD sat out, and then it was all James Harden and then a bunch of role players. Now that that he doesn't have now that he doesn't have Kyrie, I'm gonna see if he's gonna play. If he does play, then I'll I'll tip my head off to him. But if he just sits down and said, "Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not messing with the Knicks. I'll I'll sit this one out. I I just say I have a sore knee. You know what I'm saying? Then he's a p word. You know what I'm saying? So, um, can't wait for that. You know, uh, Battle of the Broros. But um, but yeah, man. Um, just that's it. That's all. Um, just you know, disappointed. You know, um, you know, I'm not. I'm like I said, Tibbs got to get this rotation right. You know, cause you know Kemba's not it. You know, I thought Kemba, I thought Kemba coming into the Knicks was gonna help us. You know, knowing you know how much I you know watched a lot of his games with the you know Charlotte Hornets and stuff like that. You know, the way he used to carry that team, like, how come he can't do that here? But again, you when you have so much point guards, it's not, you know, it's not, you know, easy. And him coming off his leg injury, you know, it's like, you know, I mean, they just, they said the same thing for Derrick Rose, you know. Like, how can Derrick Rose, you know, carry this team? You know what I'm saying? Like, he did very well, you know. Um, so... You know, it's going to take, like I said, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some games for Kimber to Walker to really fit in. You know, Fournier already fitting in. So, it's going to take some time to, it's going to take some time for Kimber Walker, for Kimber Walker to get his legs underneath him. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I'm not going to expect him to just jump in and then be, you know, his, his old self. You know, his Yukon self, you know. Those days are over for him, so, you know, now he just needs to be, like, a pure point guard, you know, so, that's it, that's all, uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.